happened on North Willis Avenue near I-5. That's where we go to our Liz Birch live tonight. So Liz, this all started when the Federal Drug Enforcement Administration requested the help of Portland police. Dan, that's exactly right. You can still see behind me here. Portland police are on scene investigating this afternoon. Now, police tell us today it was two of their officers who fired back after they say the suspect shot at them through the wall. However, they did say the officer who was shot was not one of the officers who fired. According to police, that officer was shot in the hip. He was taken to Legacy Emanuel Hospital. They say he's a 14 year veteran with the police force assigned to the North Precinct. At a press conference today, Police Chief Chuck Lavelle says he's grateful his officer is expected to survive. I got a chance to go this morning and visit with that officer, speak with them, and I'm glad to report that uh, he's doing well and is recovering at home now. With fewer officers and more crime in Portland right now, are you guys facing more of a threat of violence for your teams? I mean, there is a, a rise in shootings and homicides in Portland. Um, Violent crime is something that we're deeply concerned about um, and we have fewer officers than we did a year ago and we're trying to do our best to figure out the best response models and how we can use our limited resources to address it. Police evacuated people who live and were staying in the nearby apartments. In a tweet, Mayor Ted Wheeler said, quote, I want to thank the police officers involved in assisting federal agents today as well as the dedicated and hardworking police officers who are often put in very dangerous situations to try to keep the peace in our community.